Before uh, uh, digging deep into the weighted residual method, let's just uh, discuss some basic concepts. First, let's uh, introduce the differential equation in some standard form, which is uh, a differential operator acting on some function, and this is the unknown function, our solution, or what we are seeking to solve, and uh, it has uh, an excitation term on the right-hand side. This is a very generalized way of presenting a differential equation. Uh, this uh, uh, unknown function f of x can be now presented in an approximate series solution in which we add different uh, functions psi i uh, these functions each has uh, a coefficient a i uh, now uh, let's plug in this approximate solution into the differential equation in that case we're going to find out that uh, the differential operator acting on the function will turn out to be as the differential equation acting on the approximate solution, which means that the equation will not hold true. That is, uh, f of x, the true f of x, when uh, acted upon by the linear operator, then subtracted from g of x, it should result in a zero. This is what we've seen here. Um, uh, uh, by moving g of x to the left-hand side, the right-hand side should be equal to zero. However, because we are using an approximate solution, a i psi i, uh, this will not result in a zero. It will result in a function of x. This function of x is what we call the residue. This is the focus of all weighted residual methods. Uh, the residue is what's left over. Uh, what's not zero. It can be a positive number, it can be a negative number, it's usually a function of x. If, if our independent variable is x only, maybe it's time, maybe it's x, y, and z, whatever. Anyway, uh, so this residue is what we're going to focus on. It's not the error. If, uh, it, let it be very clear. The residue is not the error. Uh, the residue is what's left from the differential equation when we use the approximate solution in it. Now, uh, the, minimizing the value of the residue will probably produce uh, a good result uh, if the residue is approximately zero. If it's exactly zero, of course, then we've, have, uh, we've got the exact solution. But since we are not um, we are not planning on getting the exact solution since it's quite difficult or unknown or whatever, then our best, uh, uh, the best that we can do is seeking to minimize that residue in order to uh, produce an accurate uh, result.